Hey, what's up? It's payday again. My pay just came through, so time to shoot the payday video. Um, my new strategy, using Uber in the early mornings, worked great this week. And I easily hit my $2,000 standard that I try to get. And I say easily because I didn't work the... I didn't max it out as much as I was previously doing. I, I didn't. I only I think I only did 15 hours one day on Monday, and then I, 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 I love quitting early when they're giving me nothing but shit, and they and they do the pause. I just love to click the end dash when the when DoorDash pauses you, trying to trying to threaten you, bully you. So, but the fact that Uber was giving me good orders during those early hours when I usually get nothing has helped a lot. And I, I never lost the stupid ability to, to see where the orders were going. I still haven't, but yesterday, Monday, I didn't, I didn't get any Uber. They are, they, they gave me nothing but, but shitty orders. And I had to just give up after declining four in a row. So I don't know if it's going to work this week. We'll find out. But I have the we have the extra additional gas money to go over and so I'll show you the bank account. March twenty second. Fifteen seventy seven on DoorDash and four forty seven on Uber. On Sunday, I just quit. I quit at one forty-eight in the afternoon on Sunday because I, I like to, if I'm happy with what my pay is for the week, I just quit and relax. I think I'm getting kind of burnt out on this. I need that. I need my time off to come. So just over two grand. With less hours. There's Monday. And I had zero Uber on Monday. But this is including that $15 they gave us for the gas. So it, I actually didn't hit 300 without that 15 bucks. 73 hours on the DoorDash end of it. Monday was the best day. That Monday was huge because I did 98 on Uber, so that that's why I was able to just mail it in the rest of the week because I had such a jump on the pace to hit the two grand. Let's see where I stand on my ratings. Pretty good right now. So let me show you the, oops, shit, show you the, the gas payment. There's the $15 extra and it's, it's on this week. So they didn't put it on the week that you actually earned it. They've got it as a challenge, which that's how they paid my. My new driver bonus too. They called it a challenge. So, if I was them, I'd want to specify that it's the additional gas money. All right, let me show you the Uber numbers and what I got additional for gas. Uber always shorts me on the what goes into my bank account. 
something to do with the changeover of weeks. So I did some Uber every single day of the week. And that 1845 is the additional for gas. And they didn't start this till Wednesday. So that doesn't count that huge Monday. So it's more than it's more than DoorDash's 15. It didn't start till Wednesday and I'm doing way less Uber than DoorDash favoring the DoorDash app. So for me, it's total common sense, obvious that, that Uber's gas help is better than DoorDash's. And I saw a, one of the major gig tubers, major to me is over 20,000 subscribers because this niche doesn't, you know, go into the millions. But I saw one of the major tubers saying on his video that the DoorDash's was better. So that... To me, that confirms my suspicion that the a lot of these these gig tubers are, are super part time. Don't even want to do it that much. I know the rideshare guy doesn't. Sorry, Harry, but I know you don't do rides anymore. No more than twenty a week in your Tesla. So, how the hell can you even have any opinion or knowledge if you're if you're only working, you know, ten hours a week? Thinking that the DoorDash is better would mean that you would you would have to only drive the 175 miles, the exact amount of miles to get the 15 to think that's better. And then I don't think that it would still wouldn't be better. Uber gives you the 45 cents per ride, so you get some no matter what. You don't have to achieve. If you do any rides, you're going to get additional for the gas. So all that being said. It looks to me, and I'm, I'm not positive, but it looks to me like DoorDash isn't passing on the cost to the customer. So there's positives in that, if you you know if you if you look at it from that perspective. But for me, starting gig work in 2015 with rides, and I have over 26,000 rides given before I switched to delivery last year. This is huge progress for gigs work, gig workers that they actually acknowledge that we have expenses because before I have never personally witnessed or seen them even want to bring up that we have expenses. They don't they kind of want to downplay that to the public, you know. So the fact that they're actually publicly there's like stories, news stories about it saying that they're helping out with gas and radio DJs are bringing it up and so <clears throat> I think that's huge progress for for people like us that want to keep doing this as a as you know as the full time income, and so we can have the you know call our own shots and have the flexible schedule, and me getting the three months off. So, in my opinion, that's it's huge progress, and whatever DoorDash wants to pay is fine. At least they did something, and you know, so all the majors are doing doing something about it: Lyft, Uber, and and DoorDash. So. Anyway, this week is, I you know I I don't know if my my strategy is gonna work with the with the Uber in the early morning. It was, it was nothing doing yesterday. So stay tuned. Check check back with me next week, and we'll we'll see if I can continue to hit the two grand. All right, that's it for now. Let me know your opinion on the gas help in the comments, and I'll talk to you soon. Later.